Hello all, welcome to this new lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed about increment and decrement operators. And in this lesson, we are going to learn about size of operator. So size of operator is a compile time unary operator in C language that is used to find out how much of memory has been occupied by an object in your C program. Okay, so let me show that practically to you so that you will understand it better. So as you can see, I've written a simple C program that demonstrates size of operator. And as you can see, size of operator can take two forms. One is size of can be used with a variable name and size of can also be used with a data type name. So when you use size of operator with a variable, it determines the amount of memory occupied by this variable on RAM. And when you use size of with a data type name, then it determines the amount of memory that is predefined by this data type. Okay, so having said that, let me explain this program to you. So in this program, I have two variables. One is A and the other one is B. So A is a short integer variable and B is a long integer variable. Okay, so we know that with the knowledge of qualifiers that short integers are of two bytes and long integers are of four bytes. Okay, so therefore the result of this expression size of A will result in two bytes. Okay, because A is of short integer. And the result of size of B will be four bytes because B is of uh, type long integer. Okay. So similarly, when I say size of integer, this must result in four bytes on uh, my machine because I'm using a dev C++ compiler, which considers all integers by default as long. Okay. So again, the result of this expression size of int may depend on the kind of compiler that they are using. So few compilers will consider all integers by default as short integers and you might end up getting a value as two. Okay, so on my computer, I must get four bytes. Okay, let us uh, compile and run this program and check later. Okay, and then coming to the next one, the size of float will result in four bytes because float data type, you know, predefines the size as uh, uh, four bytes. Okay, so size of char is one byte and size of double is eight bytes. Okay, so let me cross verify this by uh, running this uh, program. Okay, I'm compiling it to see if there is any error or warnings. No, and then let me run this uh, code. Run this code and let's wait for the output. So as you can see, size of short object is equal to two bytes. Size of long object is equal to four bytes. Default size of integer on my machine is four bytes. Size of load type is four bytes. Size of char type is one byte and size of double type is eight bytes, okay? So it means our understanding of size of operator is correct, okay? And uh, as a quick repetition, size of operator is actually used to find the amount of memory occupied by an object, okay, in your C program on the RAM, okay? And when you're using size of operator on a data type, okay, it gives you the predefined uh, memory defined by these data types, right? So, and one more thing, if you're wondering why did I use percentage %u, then percentage %u is a format specifier for unsigned integer. And when I say unsigned integer, you must be knowing that, okay, it can only represent uh, positive numbers. And we know that the size of any object will not be negative numbers and it will always result in an uh, integer, I mean, positive integer value. And that is the reason I have used it as percentage %u. Okay, so when I use percentage D, it's a format specifier for signed integers, okay, which can format it in both positive as well as negative, because I'm very sure that size of will always be in positive integers. And there is a reason I've used it as unsigned integer by using the format specifier percentage. U. Okay, so having said that, I want you to guess the output for uh, uh, these assignments over here right now. Okay, so uh, don't uh, was a, uh, don't go further in this video. I want you to guess this output of size of five, size of five point five, size of five point five f, size of five plus five point five, and size of five plus five point zero f. Okay, so I want you to guess the answers for this and. Uh, post your guest answers in the comment section below. So let me see how many of you have got the right answers. And also I want you to uh, understand the difference between 5.5 and 5.5 F, okay? So let me see who will give the difference between 5.5 and 5.5 F correctly in the comment box, okay? So having said that, hope you understood how size of will uh, work. 
right? And in the upcoming lessons, I'm going to teach you about conditional operator, and uh, we'll have uh, expressions using uh, the ternary, the only ternary operator called as conditional operator in the upcoming lesson. Okay. So having said that, hope you uh, enjoyed this lesson. If you like this lesson, then don't forget to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming updates on this programming series. Okay. So having said that, meet you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Bye bye. I love you all so much.